Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we get to the part of the series where we'll talk about data, getting data and displaying the data. But before I do that, we need to talk about pre-rendering in Next.js because Next.js is actually solving a problem that you would have if you had the React app. So let me show you. Right, so now I've got a React on localhost 3001 because I'm using localhost 3000 for my Next.js app. So let's quickly inspect this. So if we go to inspect, you'll see right here, just remember this part right here, we've got a div and inside the div, we've got all the HTML needed for this page right here. Okay. So as you can see, the header with the images and all that kind of stuff. But here comes the problem. If we right click on here and we go to view page source right there. So this is the initial load of the page with a div with the ID of root and nothing in there. So no HTML, nothing. So basically any search engine is going to go to your page. This is what they will see. I know Google is tackling the issue, but I just wanted to show you for the other search engines, this might be an issue. Now, next year is, is solving this problem by pre-rendering all the HTML needed for that page with its data between its div tags. Let me show you. All right, so I got my localhost 3000 for the app that we've been busy with, right through learn. So if I press F12 and I go right here, you will see now instead of that div with the ID of root, we have a div with the ID of next. So if I click on any of them right there, you can see our nav and all the HTML needed for our page right here. Now let's say we go to this page source. So as you can see, it pre-renders all the HTML that's needed. So here is the div with the ID of next. We got our navigation in here as well. We got the section right here with its footer, all the HTML. Now let's say you have data as well, which we're going to get to. It will pre-render that as well. So as you can see, it actually improves the performance. And now let's say you have a blog or any other website with pages that you want to be indexed by the search engines. This will be very, very handy. Now, the other thing as well is it will reduce the waiting time for your application. Now, let's say a user is going to any of the pages. It will actually reduce the waiting times because it pre-renders most of the HTML, actually all the HTML that's needed for that page. So let me just give you a quick summary. Now, next year as we'll pre-render every page in the application. So if we go to our homepage about articles and services, it will pre-render all of these pages with its HTML and the data needed for that page. So this will improve performance and reduce the waiting time for your users. All right, so that's it. So because going forward, we will talk about static, generation so this will kind of make sense of when we kind of have to explain to you pre-rendering all right so thank you guys for watching and do all the youtube stuff and see you in the next one adios